Blues manager Kyle Critchell joins us. We're at presentation night here at the stadium. Um, really good day. The sun's out as well, which is perfect. And we've got a bouncy castle. The food's about to come in. And it's a real positive community day. And yeah. I think that's really important, isn't it? I think it's fantastic. When we, when we talk about Portland United Football Club, we talk about our aims and values and I think this is a testament to that. We've got people here that are fans, are committee members, are people that just want to come and join in and we've got kids here and yeah it's a, it's a great feeling and it's only just started, the sun's out, um, it's a lovely day and i um, really excited to go on through the evening and, and hopefully um, the players that do get announced with their awards is um, testament to their hard work and everything we've achieved so far. Yeah and, and, and then players, it could have been a number of players really for different awards because they've had a they've had a really good season and now it's about kicking on going into next season but the ones that have won that, that have won something they all deserve it but I guess this is an opportunity for you to say actually lads it was a massive team effort there's no I in team and this is an opportunity on a presentation night to represent a club as a whole that's going in the right direction yeah I think we had some core values Jamie and I when we first walked through the door that we we wanted the lads to adhere to as being you know Selflessness is, is being there for your teammate. Is when things are going wrong, can you still run through that brick wall? And when things are going well, can you can you be respectful and can you still do your job and, and make sure that you keep doing it and, and being relentless, which is the second one. Um, and togetherness, you know, we, we you see that in abundance. You see that here now. Our group of lads are mixing with everybody else. They're sat together. They're enjoying themselves. Um, it's just a really positive feeling. And I myself have been, you know, unfortunately, been around many different clubs in my time. I've never had this feeling, um, this, this feeling of, of being that welcomed um, togetherness and core values and aims, wanting to be aligned with everyone, and, and it really is. Um, we have more to do, of course. Um, the club have got aspirations to, to introduce different things in the future if they're successful, and this is just kind of the foundation stage, and we're just starting to build those 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 first first stages of the house, and hopefully we can move on and. And um, yeah, keep, keep enjoying ourselves. Yeah, and that's a massive thing, as we mentioned as well, and that enjoyment part of it. But in terms of, I'll ask you about pre-season. That yeah. the schedule went out yesterday. Waiting on another friendly as well, hopefully to be confirmed soon. Yeah. But that, that side of it as well, and pre preparing, sorry, for what is going to be another relentless campaign. Uh, there is no such thing as an off-season in football, is there really? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm new to management, so obviously I thought um, I thought when the last game of the season was done, I thought it was going to have a little bit of a, a break, but it hasn't been the case. Um, I kind of love it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, arranging friendlies is a lot more challenging than I thought it would be, um, but we've come up with a really good programme that, that mixes um, the types of games that we need um, and it also allow us to try different things and introduce different personnel. Um, and we've got some really good friendlies. Like I said, we're still waiting on one, which I really hope comes through, um, because that will be, will be our biggest game through pre-season, and we're, we're, we're excited to hopefully get that, that agreed and announced. Um, and, and then going into pre-season, obviously we put a lot of effort into making sure we've got a really good program that, that will not only get the lads fit, but will will allow us to tailor ourselves going into next season. We, we were very good at what we did this season, but I want to build on that. I want to build on being able to have the ball a little bit more in different types of games. Um, our shape and defensively and working together is fantastic, but we, we now need to improve upon that and expand our, our football knowledge and our football kind of tactics, I guess. Yeah, and in terms of the squad as well, uh, you know, great bunch of lads and, you know, hopefully most of them are committed to next season as well, which is brilliant, with hopefully some additions coming in as well. And I guess that they have to be the right sort of player. They have to be hungry and ready for the challenge as well. Yeah, so so obviously we're going to start our, our re, re, re signings and, and lads that have agreed terms hopefully tomorrow, and that'll be some good news to the people that follow the football club. Um, yeah, it's been difficult to to, to identify players to, to bring in. We've we've got two or three that we want to bring in. Um, we may not have the resources of, of other clubs, and when I say that, some people think that it's a dig. It's not a dig. Um, our model is different, um, and if I was given more resources, would I be happy as a manager? Of course. But what I am happy with is the way that we are as a club and our values. So we have to do things slightly different. So we will be looking a little bit younger, young people that we can hopefully mould, coach, help them thrive in an environment, and then, and then hopefully in a couple of years' time we'll say goodbye to them and they go and go and do themselves justice and, and move up the leagues. That's, that's got to be our model, and that's the way we're going to do things. At the same time, we tr need to try and better our season year after year, which is going to be difficult, but 
super excited, I'm, I'm enthusiastic about it, I'm determined to make sure that we better what we did last season and hopefully we do that. And that progression, that progressive uh, nature of the club as a whole yeah. um, and, and the values that you mentioned, I, I, that's massive going forward isn't it for every single individual that's involved? The foundations are here, the infrastructure within the club, the committee members, the volunteers, um, you know, could we sustain a league above? We, we probably could in terms of our infrastructure, but, but there are next, other steps that we have to take and, and that's what the club are trying to do over the long term and, and hopefully that comes to fruition. But, you know, you have to, you have to build the foundations before you move on and, and, and that's what we're doing now. We've had to press the reset button last season when I come in because the, the club was spiralling. Um, but we finished off really, really well and like Matt said the other day, a bit gutted that we finished the season when we did. Um, even though we lost the two games, um, I was still really enthusiastic, enthusiastic after those ones. It wasn't like the Bournemouth game when I was um, incredibly upset and, and teeter on the point of angry. So um, lots to look forward to. Uh, I just can't wait to get started. And, and I know that's kind of probably naive to say because it's going to be a long season. But yeah, we're, we're, we're looking to make sure that this club continues to grow. And just finally, the attendances have gone up this season. We had a really good average attendance. I think it was fourth or fifth in the league in the end. And there is a general excitement around the place. And you, would your message as as first team manager be, keep a lookout for these signings coming up because we've got a really good group of young lads that, that are really, the, the key thing is they're really hungry to progress at Portland United. And I guess as manager, your message would be keep a lookout and, and, and follow us and keep giving that brilliant support. I think first and foremost, let's focus on the support because at a club like Portland's, you know, I know they won the league a few years ago, but but because of demograph and where we are geographically, it's not easy to you know get players that are probably at the top of their level at this level, at Wessex League level, because there'll be Bournemouth, there'll be other ways, and just you can't financially get them across the line. So um, be excited for the young lads that we're going to bring in because they are they're going to be enthusiastic and they're want to, going to want to prove themselves, and I'm going to want to work hard for for this football club. And the re-signings are probably more important because a lot of them have had a lot of interest a lot of interest and could have gone for a lot, a lot more money if I'm going to be completely frank and they haven't, they've decided to stay because they see what we're growing, they see the professional environment um, and they can see themselves better than themselves, they can see the coaching and the training that's been put into it, the programme and pre-season's testament to that, you know, we've got some excellent things going on, um, new methods and uh, I'm just really excited to see the outcome once we get through pre-season. And I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm sure everybody else is looking forward to it. So let's enjoy the rest of the evening. Kyle, thank you very much for joining Thanks, me. Thanks, Josh. Thank you.